All right. Let's shall. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Winston's Wait, oh. Master Duel Roundtable, the Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast of all time. Woo! Today I'm joined by my illustrious panelist, the the 8,021st Digital Warrior, Digi, as well as the illustrious Yo. Red Storm 29, a.k.a. Mari, a.k.a. Kamari. Hey, yo. Chara yeah. and Nerilus are not here, so it's just no, the three of not. us. So we were so given so given that I suck, and Chara is the smart one, especially when it comes to coming up with news and stuff. Uh, I only have a card reveal for you guys this evening, which we will be getting into first. Okay. A new card came out in the OSG called A Bow A Q, A Bow A Q, the Lightless Shadow. A Link 4 Dark Fiend uh. effect monster with 2800 attack in Link Arrow's left, right, di uh, diagonal, left, diagonal, right. And and it had oh during boy. the main phase, it has a quick effect where you can discard one card and activate one of those effects. Destroy one card on the field or banish this card until the end phase. And if you do special summon one light or dark monster from your graveyard. Interesting. That's actually, huh? During your standby phase, you can draw cards equal to the number of different monster types among the monsters in your graveyard. Then place the same number of cards from your hand on the bottom of the deck in any order. You can only use each effect one. So this card is basically a link for fuck you. And it sounds like this is the type of card you want to get with an IP Masquerina during, like, main phase two. Hmm. Yeah, that definitely does sound pretty interesting. Now, granted, if you can get it off, it goes crazy. Because what it basically is is it allows you to basically draw a shit ton of cards. Like, playing this in, like, Shadal or something. Well, not even Shadal. Um just any just ice barriers even is a good example because like they have a bunch of different types of monsters Ooh. and we're in even oh. if nothing else it's a quick it's a quick play pop or just you want to fucking i don't know activate goddamn centurion perina from from the grave, go for it. Like you can just do that now because it's a one lighter dark monster in your graveyard. And by the way, no restrictions on the lighter dark. It could be any level. So if you've got a fucking Baylor Drock or a Destrudo or insert anything here, and it works. That's actually so. It's a link. It's it feels like ultimately a win more card. But as far as Link 4s go that, like, like have interaction on your opponent's turn, both of these effects aren't fucking bad, in my personal opinion. It's removal on one hand, and it's being able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! on your opponent's turn on the other. Like, for example, if you are able to slot a, like, get, like, a Fiend you can reliably get to, like, Fiendsmith into, like, Branded, and you have an Albaz in your graveyard... Great, you, you now you're able to fucking do Albaz shit on your opponent's turn. So this mm. is actually it's an interesting card. I like it reads like it does it could do some cr crazy shit, but you know I think the first two effects are probably the most valuable. I don't know if a quick play um, Monster Reborn or a quick play Pop One is necessarily worth a link for um but and this card will absolutely get to be getting destroyed actually hold on because you mm -hmm. can banish it until the end phase and special summon a light or dark monster that means you can dodge any interactions on your opponent's turn so actually now that i think about it really yeah because when you one of its its secondary quick effect is you can banish this card until the end phase. And if you do special summon one light or dark monster. So now you get to summon Albaz and do fuck shit. And 
it sunk gets summoned back to your field during the end phase. So when it turns to your turn and you go to standby, you can draw a bunch of shit. Oh boy. Yeah, so that's actually not too bad, and I, I'll give credit where credit is due. So, gentlemen, question. Do any of hmm. you have any compelling, like, duels from this week? Any replays you want to go over? Things of that nature? I won a duel against Trace. Did you save the replay so we can see it? I did save the replay. I would have to get my Switch on and boot up Master Duel to show it, though. So while you do that, I'm going to show my replay, if that's okay. Please do. Alrighty. So, so, for context, I, uh, uh, have, this is in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and because Char is not here to be a fucking naysayer, um, I can, uh, share it with you guys. so I'm going to pull up my replays. Where the fuck are the replays? Replay, 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 deck list, estimation, scene album. Sorry, it's been quite an amount of time since I last played uh, Duel Links. And there's a part of me that forgets where everything is. And so I'm trying desperately to remember where the fuck I, I go to like see my replays and shit. I think it's in the PvP arena. Favorite replays. Cool, here they are. All right, this is one. This is uh, this was a my most recent replay. So, for context, I am playing uh, Invoked Shadal in Duel Links. Never in a million years would I have thought that I would be able to see in play Invoked Shadals and fucking Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. Jesus H. Christ. So, I open up the field spell, which is basically given, a, which is a uh, fuck you in the face of su of the super poly limit. An invocation, okay. an Alistair the Invoker, and a Shadal Beast. Now, unfortunately, I for I for my opponent decides to set a defense monster past. I foolishly forgot that I uh, changed my deck a little bit, and so I was unable to add another invocation. So I activate invocation, use the beast and the and the, the health wall power to go into a grist drum. And I'm like, okay, bet. This will allow me to mill some shit from the top, get draw a card off rip, chain two, draw an El Shadal fusion. I'm like, ooh, lovely. And I hit a Winda and a Hedgehog? Cool. That means I can get a Kios on the field. There's a light. And I can get a Skobata to hand. I can I can then attack using the Alistair. And then I'm like, what the fuck is that? And, it, and apparently it's something called Warm War, which says, if this card is destroyed, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. And I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm like, I'm playing Shadal. I can attach it. I'm like, oh, I hit the Falco? And I get a Falco on the field. Now I'm in a position where I am capable able to activate El Shadal Fusion, and I get to attack a third time using the Kios and the Falco in Great to go into a Construct. This allows me to use Construct to build something from the top to, to sense it to pull something from Grave. Squamata activates so it's able to do the same thing, and I use, use the Hound I sent to add a uh, card from uh, Deck to me. And I and they have a fucking Kyroid, so I'm like, God damn it. And it's at this point, when I read Firebrand Hymnist, I realize what the game plan is. When this card is normal oh. summoned, you can send cards from the top of your opponent's deck to the graveyard equal to the number of cards they control. If this card special summoned, it, it does it, it does the same thing, but for my opponent. And I'm like, oh no, it's deck out turbo, and I'm playing the deck that loves to send shit to the graveyard. Let's see who burns out first. Next oh, day, Firebrand boy. Hymnist. And now I have three cards left in deck. Thankfully, they hit, unfortunately, they hit my dragon and I shotgun that shit and ended up blowing up my own damn field spell. I attack directly, they activate Kite Void, I attack again, I hit a Grist Drop. We are now in hmm. the suck part of the game. They activate Swords of Revealing Light, I'm like, fuck, 
I don't have enough cards in deck to survive this. What do I do? And then I'm like, I start thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, I need to pop that. I I have to pick one to pop, and it's gonna have to be Swords of Revealing Light because there's no way, because like mathematically, there's no way I can get over this. So what I end up doing is, is I draw a card. I use my 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 ability, Shadow Weaving Power, to tuck a Shadow Dragon back into my deck. Past turn because I'm like, there's a 50 50 shot of this working out here, and I need to draw Dragon. I, in fact, did not draw Dragon, and I'm like, you know what? I can make this work with Shadow Fusion. I activate Shadow Fusion, use the Squamata and the um, uh, and this construct on field to go into another construct. Now, again, both Squamata and construct, foolish fucking burial. So even if they have an Omni Negate waiting on my ass, like, for them, it's still gonna go through. So I'm hoping that they're not gonna negate the dragon or whatever, and they don't. I'm able to pop the Swords of Revealing Right, I attack with the, with the Construct, and they can fucking 3 me. I'm like, whatever, fine, I'll attack with the Red Straw. And they fucking 3 me again! And then I- and then Karibo? I it. Yep, and then I El all Construct, El Shadal Fusion, Again, and I'm like, I'm so glad I got, I picked that up on a lark. I sent the El Shadal, the Shadal Hound two turns earlier. Maybe I should have El Shadal Fusion just in case I need to do something in a pinch. And I'm glad I did because that allowed me to go to start to use the Gristra to the the Winda and the the other Shadal monster in hand. And I allowed me to pass once more for game. Reminder: I had zero, zero cards left in deck. If they had one more point of interaction, I would have been cooked. So that that was, that right. was the duel, duel for me. So let's look at yours, Digi. All right. Here we go. And let's play. So basically, Trace got himself a new deck, and I was, of course, using my Blue Eyes slash Exodia deck. And something happened that I was never expecting to happen in a long, long time. What I actually that? managed to pull one over on him. Really? Do tell. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, this is how it starts. I got one piece of Exodia, and I've got, I've got my Master with Eyes of Blue. And... View options. Yeah. Wait, Are view options? Here? What? He he goes into he goes into big out big main deck Albaz gets passes some stuff. I why didn't he set branded in red? Why didn't he set whatever? Fine. Um, you you draw you draw a, another hand a copy of Exodia. Okay. Uh, you use uh, Melody Awakening Dragon. Get the alternative and the blue eyes. Uh, mm -hmm. you get you you can pop it. You pop. You don't pop his back row. Okay. Uh, you attack twice and and turn. I don't know why you wouldn't have synced right there, but so be it. He draws an Albaz and pulls Branded Fusion. You use the blue light, uh, which is basically Eternal Soul, but for blue eyes. Blue they eyes comes be out. Yeah. Uh, blue eyes comes out. He bestial uses the bestial Sarnir and that to go into Titanoclad. That is a card that I rarely fucking see summoned in in branded. Jesus. Uh, Sarnir uh, gets that. Brandon and Red is, activates in sequence. Uh, Brandon and Red activates. Albaz is added to hand. Titanoclad and Albaz are then used to go into Mirror Jade, I presume. Yep, Mirror Jade. I yep. thought so. Um, from there, Sarnir's effect activates, and he pitches a trap I did not see. He uses Chaos Form on Mirror Jade, the Ice Blade Dragon, wow. to make Fat Dragon Ass Dragon Max. Holy hmm. shit! That that is certainly the most Yu-Gi-Oh plan thing made. God. Okay. Branded retribution. The most Yu-Gi-Oh planned. God, that's that is just biggest brain. Holy shit. Alright, he, he, he Yep, he ran into that shit. He gets branded in high spirits during the end phase. And you go to draw, you get the uh head of Exodia, activate true lights effect, get alternative out onto the field, activate alternative effect, 
pop a Luber the Uber of Uber, and then you use both of those two to exceed summon into the number C, uh, the number 62 Galaxy Eyes, which allows you to actually run over Chaos Max. Nice play. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Max Value Blues activates in Grave. You let's send it to Graveyard, and you get to summon the alternative bat. Doesn't oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, he's got a full grip, and he branded fusions again. You true light a second time. Special summon a blue eyes mm -hmm. white dragon from your hand or graveyard. Uh, get the blue eyes white dragon back on the field. You now have two Binguses on field yet again. Branded sent yeah. the Albaz, the Albaz, and Big Albaz to make uh, brigand. That's a, again another monster I don't normally see motherfuckers summoning in branded. Um, he sets two. And passes. Draw phase. You draw a. You draw the clock in continuous. Interesting. Activate true uh, blue uh, true light in sequence. Uh, you set. Oh, bath card. Wow. Um, activate that, and you can pop everything on his field, and then alter it. What? What? Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh, fair enough. Um. And you pass turn. I couldn't attack in that turn, but that's fair. The next one. She, you draw, you get another. I'm gonna be so honest. There, you know, some. I know some of those spells are fun. They're just not particularly great. But hey, you beat. Fuck it, you beat zero. I mean, he was. I, mean, <laughs> I, don't, know what, I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but yeah, GG. He was testing out a new deck of his. And that like new deck of his was complete doo-doo cheeks. Until no, he mopped meat on Tuesday night. Here's the thing, though. Like, he's playing branded. Like, what you don't do is use your fucking Mirror Jade as Chaos Form material. Hmm. That's what you don't do. Like I understand so it was wanting dumb to on let his part. Yeah, like he just I don't know what he was doing. But that's certainly a choice. Mari, do you have any yeah. uh replays you want to share? Uh I have a funny one, but I can't really screen share it because I'm not on my computer on Discord. I'm on my phone. Mm. Alright, well save it for next All week, right. okay? Alright, I'm even saved, so you know, next week I can, you know. Uh, broadcast it for y'all. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah! Uh, we are now moving into parking lot. Is there anything Yu-Gi-Oh! related that we have not covered that you guys want to touch on before we get into the G segment? I can't think of anything. How about you, Mari? I did see that, uh, uh zombies are getting, uh, a new field spell. They are, and it's kind. It, it's just a solid fucking consistency tool. Honest to God, I mean, it's probably best played with Eldritch, but even so, it's still not a bad option, all things considered. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, and also, I heard that um, what you call uh, Clockwork Knight is getting support in the form of a clock. Link. Clockwork Knight. Yeah, it's like there's Work. a link. I gotta find it. There's like a, a, a link that you can summon, and like it lets you search Clockwork Knight the spell. Oh, what link one Earth Machine monster, one non-link monster who's with a hundred with a thousand or less original attack. So just scrap support. Got it. Um, you can only use the first and effect second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If it's Link Summoned, you can send one face of continuous spell you control to the graveyard at one Clockwork Knight from your deck to your hand. Hold on, let me Google. What is Clockwork Knight? That's the continuous spell that turns all uh, monsters into machines. Kill yourself. I hate you. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Mother. No, 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 no. <laughs> This is a completely valid thing to say. This is a completely valid thing to say. You want to know why? You want to know why, fucking Diddy? Because I spent 
10 minutes building my fucking sandcastle and this cocksucker playing his goddamn cyber dragons came in with his fucking chimera tech mega fleet dragon and kicked my shit like he like 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 into the fucking ocean this motherfucker clay main decks this fucking a uh, 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 continuous and i'm like clockwork knight like I'm, I'm reading this i'm like why would he be so excited about like, i mean like sure it's like a quick way to like send like 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 scrap recycle or something to the grave whatever i'm like but but he doesn't really do that in fuck he doesn't really fucking do that like i mean maybe it could be used to like send fucking dra like like cyber dragon core or whatever but but i was like what's but what's the, the reasoning and then i go clockwork knight and i see the fucking artwork and i'm like god fucking damn it you mm -hmm. rat fuck. <laughs> Jared, Let's like, leave. like comes why? Basketball? That's going in my deck. Why am I? Why am I not? Oh my god! Why am I not getting any should all support? Gem Knight's got should all support baby construct. Fucking Jabroni's getting zombie support, and you're giving this crime against humanity? Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe mm. you might have to, you know, switch decks or something. I don't know. Uh, fuck me, dude. All right, let's get let's do your fucking segment, Digi. I'm gonna go get get a fucking beer. Woo! I'm not. I'm Woo! not getting a beer. I'm getting a Capri Sun. I don't drink. Jerry Honestly, drink. neither do I. I try to, but like fucking, I just, I, just, I can't. Okay, I can't. All right, so Mega Tin cards right here. Are we ready, gentlemen? I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and see about the highlights from pack number one. Wear them highlights, wear them highlights. Is my camera lagging? Uh, no, it oh, no, it's fine to me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Five highlights in total from pack number one. Okay, so the first highlight we've got is Mirror Sword Knight. I take it by that silence, it's not too useful of a card. Oh no, I just got back. What was the card name? It was Mirror Sword Knight. Actually, hold on, yeah. let me get it back up for you. Oh, yeah. It's like Chimera support, right? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's one of the new illusion monsters. Oh, cool. Alright, on to the next one. The next one we've got is... Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. Ooh. Hmm. The Unchains are good. I don't know how much that's worth, but it's not bad. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, this one looks really, really shiny. Chimera Tech. Uh, oh, what, is, what was the name of this? Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Ooh, that's my bike. Fuck you, Kamari. <laughs> that's my Wait, you right use this card? Yes, that's the reason that Evan is so mad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, he used, okay. He used to wipe his field, and he was, like, very mad. <laughs> nice. And the next highlight is Melfi Wally. The Melfis are a very fun deck, I will admit. They are very, very awesome. I like them a lot, and their artwork is, uh, is sublime. All right, all right. On to the final one of the first pack. Chimera, the Illusion Beast. Ooh, that's fun. The, the Illusionist Chimera decks aren't actually that bad. They're, it's definitely a deck in TCG worth like playing and learning and stuff. All right. On to the pile with you. I'm, I'm already starting a new deck with, with, with all the stuff I get from, from the tins. Okay, now, on to pack number two. Let's see about the highlights from these ones. Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Up, uh, up, uh, don't, don't bend on me now. Okay. Now, first highlight of pack number two. Mary Mel- Oh, damn it. Mary Melfi's. I 
I take it by the silence again. That's not too useful of a card. He, sorry, I'm multitasking. What was it? It was Mary Melfi's. Yeah, the Mel more Melfi cards. And, like, definitely do look into playing them on Masterful. They are a very fun and cute archetype. I like them a lot. All right. Now, on to the next one. The next one we've got is Albion, the Sanctifier Dragon. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. actually good. Um, That's actually good branded support. All right, that's good. And the next one we have is... This one's a little bit hard to read because of how shiny it is. Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. That's a good call. Um, let me hold on. Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Let me check real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. TCG player. Yeah, that's a ten dollar card, my guy. Nice. Jeez. All right, and the next one we have is Vanquish Soul Snow Devil. Fun. All right, and the last one of pack number two is a Link card by the name of Pit Knight Philly. Fun. All right. I think, I think Gold Pride uses that. Yeah, I think so too. Gold Pride. Yeah, it's uh, it's the um, speed racer archetype. Oh, speed racer! Oh boy, <laughs> I've been getting back into watching speed racer, and holy shit, he's a sociopath. Yeah. All right, last pack of the night. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. First one we've got is the ultimate great insect. Okay, yeah, I mean that's that it's insect support circle jerk. They just get good. It's, it's just a win more card for insects. It's okay. All right then, on to the next one. We've got ugh, goodness gracious, the elemental hero shining uh, Neos wingman. Ooh, I, like I that don't. Card. That's cool. I don't remember exactly off top what it does, but cool. I'm pretty sure it like destroys cards your opponent controls, depending on how much uh, attributes are on the field or something like that. That's actually pretty cool. Not All sure. right. And the next one is ooh, ooh, it's my girl. Ooh, it's Dark Magician Girl. Ooh, that's Bay. That that is totally. Bae. Totally. That is perfect right there. That, 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 that is genuinely perfect. All right. Last two. All right. So the next one we've got is the Chaos Mirage Dragon. Okay. I have never heard of that. Me either. I remember Mirage Dragon, but I don't remember Chaos Mirage. I just ran Mirage like, Dragon. I... Might... Go for it. I, cause like I did have the original Mirage Dragon in my first ever Yu-Gi-Oh deck, but like that card is pretty much withered at this point. Yeah. And on to the final one, Gold Pride Roller Baller. That's a good card. <laughs> That's a good card. All right. That's good. That's good. And now, with all the highlights out of the way, and each one stacked on, the deck grows ever so bigger. Alright, I'm gonna put these in the one tin. And I'm gonna just keep the other tin just for extra storage of more cards. Nice. When I get more. Because my legendary dex box, that is just filled Okay, I cannot stuff any more cards into that box without ruining other cards. Fair enough. 
Mari, do you have anything to say you want to contribute, my friend, before we call it an evening? Um, fuck Tenpai. Hmm? Eh, don't be, don't be a sore ass loser. On that note, ladies Damn. and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching <laughs> Winston's Master Duel Roundtable. And also, fuck you, you just got like the best goddamn Link one you could ever want for your damn deck. <laughs> did I? We lit! Well, no, Mari did, yeah. And on oh. that note, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for listening. If you want to follow everybody, even our panelists that are not here, you can check the links down in the description. On that note, I will catch you guys a little bit later. Thank you so much, and I'm sending you to pre-recorded Evan for the spiel. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hibmedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.